Mark Irma left in Naples would be repeated as it moved north in Tampa, Orlando, and Jacksonville. CBS 4's Mike Cunha was in Naples during the hurricane and has this story that shows how a community can come together after a disaster. With more than 10 inches of rain and storm surge from Hurricane Irma, parking lots like this one in Naples have turned into lakes. And this is just the beginning of the damage for this community. Was it catastrophic? No. But nearly 200,000 people are without power and clean water. Luckily, there were no fatalities here, except for the trees and signs that took the brunt of the damage. Residents are grateful this hurricane lost some steam before making a direct hit. And it's one of those things where you feel better that you prepared. Definitely, yeah. definitely. We got plenty of ice, plenty of, plenty of water, plenty of cold beer, so I'll be okay. <laughs> A cold drink is important without AC. Sometimes when life gives you lemons or a machete, you have to make do. It's good, it's refreshing. It's good. Especially, it's gonna be hot now. Yeah. That'll work. Cleaning up will hopefully be the last act of Hurricane Irma. But here at Harold's Place, they're getting a head start by helping out their neighbors with a warm meal. Reasonable people who do reasonable things get reasonable outcomes. What goes around comes around. Billy Graham said, the good Lord gave you about two hands, one to take, one to give. Don't forget the love. This sort of generosity is the kind that won't soon be forgotten. Use it or lose it. So everybody's in need, let's give it to the ones who need it. Those are our customers. Best thing I've seen in four days. This is hot dog right here. Does it bring tears to joy? Oh, yes, yes. I mean, so many people had not had a hot meal in a few days. Yes, yes, I'm one of them. And this, I'm grateful for this right here. Well, this started with the, just a handful of people, but as the day went on, word started to spread. And now here at Harold's Place, this is a party. It's really the first sign you see that Naples is getting back to normal. Here in Collier County, Mike Cunio, CBS 4 News.